Sex addiction in women. The signs are somewhat similar. Uh, many have sexual abuse as a background, at least 80%. Um, many of them have a certain style in which they hunt for their particular victims, whether the victims have to have power, have to have money, have to be attractive, have to be physically fit. They tend to be a little more particular than men in the way that they uh, go after their particular type of person. Uh, uh, sex addiction women, they tend to have a wardrobe that is their wardrobe to act out in. Um, but they also have the same symptoms as men would. They've tried and they have failed. They have promised that they would stop and they've not been able to fulfill that. They have cried and prayed. They have a secret life. Nobody knows what they're doing, okay? And this also shows up many times with women having depression, uh, alcohol issues, drug issues, other issues to medicate that. Uh, and so if you're having some of these symptoms, it's taking a lot of time. You're on the internet for hours, you know, trying to find that next hookup or, or that pornography fix that you're trying to get or the next thing you think is going to make it all go away. Just like the male sex addict, they're oftentimes medicating or avoiding their past or present. And so if you're a woman, we do have a book called She Has a Secret. About 80 women helped me write that book. There's a workbook, there's phone groups for you to get in. You know, you don't have to be a sex addict if you're a woman. There's help for you, there's hope for you. And I've seen many women get free from their sexual addiction. So if you even think that you're struggling with that, take the next step, go to sexaddict.com, get some information, maybe call, do a telephone session with one of our female counselors and see what you need to do because you deserve to be free. You deserve to have a shameless life you, you deserve to be able to keep your word to a, a person in a relationship and be able to have real intimacy, not be used and not feel like you're using somebody, but really loved and connected to somebody. You deserve that.